So um, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. We're really excited that you're here. So um, uh, there's a couple of things I want to share with you first before we get into the actual topic. Well, actually, this is part of the topic, but I, I, I was researching recently what's been going on in our industry. And we know that the market, <laughs> the industry has changed dramatically in a really short period of time. A lot of us know that um, here, let me actually just go full camera with you. A lot of us know that it's, it's since 2020, when the pandemic first happened, we just saw crazy things happen in the real estate industry with prices going up, interest rates being so low. And, and we had a, a really great run for two years. Um, that's now changing. And um, unfortunately, the homeowners, the sellers, because we're focused on listings today, right? They, they, they're in denial about it. Uh, there's still a lot of homeowners who think that their house is special and, um, and, and the prices they're, 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 haven't changed. So I want to share a couple of things with you. And actually... Um, uh, Sarah, could you ask uh, April to come in, please? Um, so here's uh, let me sh let me show something. A couple of articles and power agents. Uh, you should be using this, and I'll, I'll talk about power agents in a second. You should be using this on listing appointments. This is one of the headings that came out recently from Bangor. 2023 fourth quarter housing trends: prices down, rates are up. So we know rates are up. But we're starting to see prices coming down. Uh, here's from Fortune uh, magazine, Wall Street, U.S. housing market to see the second biggest home price decline since the Great Depression. Um, and then we have another one, which is insider. A U.S. housing recession has arrived and it could lead to a 20 percent decline in home prices and Fed interest rates cut by 2023. So here's here's the, the point. Now, I'm not trying to be negative with you all on this. Uh, I'm trying to make a point, which is the market is shifting. Now, some of you may not have seen this in your particular area yet. Prices may still be going up or the market is still pretty good. But if it hasn't hit your market yet, it will. So here's what my thinking is. As the market changes, sellers are going to need you more than ever. They may be in denial in some parts of the country, but I'm telling you, as people start to make life changes and to move from point A to point B in their life, they're going to need you more now than ever. So I'm curious. I want to ask everybody this question. I'd like to see you. This is going to be a, an exercise in our chat. What's happening in your market right now? And I'd like you to write it and hit enter in the, in the uh, Q&A panel. Are you seeing prices in your market going up, staying the same, or going down? I'm curious to see what comes out, and let's uh, publish these as they come in. So we're doing a little survey right now. Everybody, I'd like you to tell me, what are you seeing in your market? Are you seeing prices going up? Are you seeing them going down, staying the same? So there's one saying that market um, is still stay is going up. Three markets are down, down, declining, et cetera. Okay. Keep them coming and keep publishing those, Julie. Um, they're going down. Um, prices are up, going down, going down. So what you'll notice, price breaks. It's the same in Virginia, going down. So what's happening, it's the, okay. So it seems like there's more people writing that the prices are going down. Hey, Kelly Ufret, Long Island, New York, Kelly, going down. So here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. In, um, if, if you're in a market where prices are still going up or staying the same, you're going to notice a trend here. You may start to feel it. So we need to communicate this to the homeowners. All right, so what's our recipe in this new real estate reality that we're going into? I'm going to give you, to increase your inventory, I'm going to give you two simple ingredients. Two simple ingredients and I'm going to delve deep on these. The first ingredient is we need to generate more listing appointments. 
I'm not saying go on the listing, but we're, of course we're going to go on it, but I'm talking about prospecting. I'm talking about you need to focus and fill it, getting back to work. Like Kelly, she had said me <laughs> recently, she said, I need to get back to work. This is good. So thinking about getting your, your, your getting back to work in shaking the trees and generating listing leads. The second is you need to master the listing conversation. So what we're going to do in our training together is I'm going to go into these two kind of deep with you. I'm going to give you a bunch of ideas on how to generate listing appointments. I'm going to give you some ideas on how to improve your listing conversation. But before I do that, I do want to mention something. I said something earlier about power agents, and I know some of you are like, what's a power agent? So I'm just going to cover that for uh, 45 seconds. These weekly trainings that we do are geared towards our power agent members. These are people that are in our coaching program. And, and the reason why I'm saying that is because some of you on this call are guests so guests, we're glad that you're here. You're going to get a tremendous out of this hour together. At the end of the hour, we're going to do some coaching as well, answering your questions. But the reason why I'm telling this guests from time to time, I may point to the power agents to something in the website uh, that's part of their membership. So I just want you to be aware of that. Now, if you're a guest, I will tell you, if you stay to the end, we got a gift for you. You see everything on the screen right now is worth almost $2,000. There's PowerPoint, there's checklists, there's e-guides. I mean, it's a lot on that screen right now. And, and you'll be able to get it for five bucks at the end of this. And we'll talk about that later. So we're going to get into the training now. Julie, is everything checking out okay on your end, Jules, before I get into that? Yep, everything's good. All right, good. All right. So here's the first thing. Let's talk about how to generate listing appointments. Now, I've only got an hour with you, so I want to just share with you some of the ideas that I think going into the fall are useful ways for you to generate these listing appointments. You know, one of our power agents, uh, Angela, she posted not too long ago in the Facebook group, you know, we have a, a, a closed Facebook group for our power agents. She said she got three deals one night, became power agent, best decision. I'm going to share with you what she's learning and a lot of the power agents are learning as far as generating listing appointments. This is There's two forms that we have in our coaching program, these two when it comes to prospecting. One is an infographic to hang up the, the pretty lady there with the little things. And then there's that other one, which is over to the right, which is a chart. I really like the chart, but I'm not going to use the chart today. The, what's cool about the chart, though, is it helps you stay focused on activities every single day to generate your listing. So, But let's focus on this one. I'm going to pull this apart here because it's just a – I love this image, actually. It's just inspiring. So the first one I want to talk about is how-to seminars. As the market changes – for sellers, they're going to need more help. They're going to need more coaching. They're going to need some more advice. So one of the things that you may want to do is start doing local how-to seminars in your area. Um, you know, here's some examples. One is a buyer workshop flyer that we have. But I want you to do seller ones, right? You could do the buyer ones too. Those are Those are even easier. But the seller workshops, and Julie, maybe you'll mute your mic, please. The seller's workshop is to, to address like how the market is changing and how do I sell my house in this changing market, et cetera. You know, one of our power agents recently, shout out to Deneen, if she's on the call, she did one for buyers. And you'll notice what she did over to the right is a home buying process, current market conditions, a role of real estate agent, financing options. And what she did was she did it with uh, a home inspector. She did it with a mortgage person. And here's the thing. When you do a, a seminar uh, for your community and you have some of these other guest speakers, they help fill your time. So the burden is not you. Like some of you are like, I don't want to do a how-to how seminar because I'm not a speaker. But you don't have to be a speaker for, for two hours or three hours. It's a one-hour thing. If you had two guest speakers, an attorney – a home inspector, and they did 15 minutes each. There's 30 minutes right there. The other 30 minutes, well, you'll do 15 minutes on your piece and then you do 15 minutes of questions and answers. So you really only need to know your 15 minutes, you know? 
But here's the cool thing about doing a how-to seminar for homeowners yeah, on how to sell your house in this changing market. What's happening in the future of real estate? Are prices going up, staying, or going down? How to address those things. So if you did, if you promoted a seminar like that, and it could be a, an online one, but I prefer you do it in person. You know, we're post-pandemic now. If you got a seminar that you've got these homeowners coming and uh, you've got 30 homeowners in a room, that's like doing 30 listing appointments in one shot. This is what I love about it. So consider doing a how-to webinar or seminar, live seminar for your community.